Hi everybody, this is Joseph Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just read The Call of the Green Bird written by Alberta House. And this was one that I had absolutely no idea about. And going by the cover, I thought, well, maybe this takes place in an arid climate given that they're on the back of a horse, they're dressed like Bedouins or Ishmaelites and I got the Ishmaelite part right and yeah they were Bedouin and they were part of this uh tribe called the the tribe of the black tents and what's intriguing about this is they believe in this myth of the green bird and it's their version of the phoenix basically but it's a very good story and of course Jesus is involved but I'm not going to go too much into the details of the story. This this was something I bought because I thought that it looked very intriguing. And I was already captivated by just the idea of it. And I've always adored the Phoenix mythology and how this was incorporated with this particular tribe in this era of history. And you get to hear about how the disciples were um, forming and what Jesus did and how he was seen and how some people felt about the movement that he was creating. And yeah, I do think that there is some efficacy and truth in this book and if you are Christian, I would highly recommend it because it's a really good perspective, even though it might be fictional. It's it's a nice little um, perspective or viewpoint, a uh, different kind of look and understanding given Ishmael-like uh, culture. And then it mentioned uh, Esau, and Esau apparently had red hair and I thought oh of course he did and it just it made sense to me uh and I've I don't know why but that just fascinated me and then they said David too and I thought is that true is it is it actual fact that and it just please someone confirm because I've got red hair in my family I'm just super 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 inquisitive about this did King David have red hair I'm just asking because I need to know <laughs> But I know red hair is mentioned in the Bible and it's something that I've recently become fixated upon and it's something I want to read about. Of course, there's a book about it and hopefully I will obtain it fairly soon and just delve into it because it's just a rarity nowadays and it's a gene that unfortunately is going extinct, which I think is a real shame because it's just, it's such a beautiful, lovely, um, recessive trait that I like and I have to be biased because I myself am strawberry blonde uh but given all that there's a lot of humanity in this story and there's a lot that we can relate to and I was having kind of a hard day today I'm not sure why just it was difficult and but I know that matters are going to be fine. But then I came to one of the Psalms of Solomon. And it was, uh, let's see if I can find it. Because it stood out to me. Here it is. Uh, actually dog-eared the page. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. And that just hit me. <laughs> I thought, I am trusting on the Lord. I am leaning on my, I'm not leaning on my own understanding. Because what we're seeing now in this day and age is so unprecedented. That we just have to have faith. And of course that can be easier said than done but thankfully the story that was told 
especially of uh, the main character, the protagonist, and, and their quest for discovering the green bird because their mother wanted to find the green bird for herself. And there's just something so pure and wholesome and childlike. And I was just remembering Jesus when the disciples were discouraged, I will never forget when, when the disciples were discouraging children to leave Jesus alone, Jesus actually said, let him come to me for such is the kingdom of heaven. And just, it, I thought, yeah, this is true because children are closer to the kingdom of heaven. Of course, this goes back to a belief that stems from Asian culture as well. Uh, I, I really don't want to go into that because others, others, um, on YouTube have already discussed this at length and breadth and width, and I don't want to bore you, but given the fact that children are newly brought into the world and not really tethered to the earth so much, they're, they're more tethered to spirit, which is true. Uh, but I thought of that and I thought, you know, even though I am an adult, I still have that kind of wispiness about myself. And I, I don't want to toot my own horn about it. But I mean, I've I've been kind of wrestling with that a little bit recently. But that, that, that verse just, it gave me a semblance of comfort and a semblance of serenity. And I thought, okay, I'm glad I saw this. I was having a difficult time and just feeling like nothing I was doing was amounting to much and I was getting frustrated just because um, other things have been clashing and colliding with what I really want to do. So I just I have to realize sometimes these things happen and you just have to trust the process and let it be and know that God is in control. So that was confirmation for me and I'm, I'm grateful for it. So today was difficult. I did a lot of crying. I felt very lonely and lonesome. And then I realized these, these things come and go. I'm not always going to feel this way. I, I just have to dig in my heels. I have to keep going. I, I cannot let this, um, bog me down. I have to continue and people are counting on me. So I'm, di I'm just going to pick myself up, dust myself off and keep on trucking as it were. But as I said before, this was a really good book. I highly recommend it. Uh, I will be working on some other things. So uh, this weekend I have a retreat. I will probably do uploads when I get home more than likely but pretty much that's all I have going on so stay tuned live long prosper Jeff Tutti